everyone, it's me, Laura, from The Papered Soul, and I'm coming to share a trio of journals that I have created. Um, it's my design team project from Elsie Bell's Bookshelf, um, and I am using her garden ephemera paper. I also have used her antique butterfly uh, f butterflies journal cards and vintage butterfly journal cards, and I popped in... Um, some leftover, small little leftover pieces that I had uh, from Nature's Music Kit. So these are all from Elsie Bell's bookshelf. I'll put the description and information, or excuse me, yeah, yeah, I'll put all the description for the entire journal and then of course the information for Ellie's shop below, in the description below. Um, these are six by four and a half. I love this size. Um, it is just perfect for your hand fits perfectly in your hand. Um, I'm going to show each one, but I'll, I'll just, um, you know, go through one more in detail and then flip through the other one so you can see. Um, I did do a lot of work in these. I did, did the same amount of work in these that you would have um, in my other journals. It's just that it's a smaller compact size, but the same amount of work has been done. Um, they have, I'm gonna figure it out for you because I always forget to figure the pages out. They have 72 pages in them front and back. So they are, this is quite a thick um, journal and I've got a lot of embellishments in there but I also have a lot of room for journaling, a lot of spaces to journal. I've also created and I did a video of this. It is a butterfly boho bead so I made that and um, I did that on camera so you can see how I made it and it has the way I've layered it you ha can see a little butterfly wing which is made out of some fabric from a ri uh, from a ribbon I just cut out a little butterfly wing so that it would look like the little butterfly is in there getting ready to emerge so I've hung that off to the side of my journal um, and uh, then there's sewing all around it. Um, I didn't do a lot of sewing, but I did do some sewing of some of the tags. Not all of them, but some. Um, and there's, you know, stamping, some stenciling, and you'll just see it all. I have a book plate here. The name of this um, set is called Still Becoming because I, you'll know the more I go through, you know, why I named it that, but it's like we're always growing and changing and becoming just like the caterpillar when you see him crawling along he's still becoming and he will become a butterfly so i just liked that and i thought that was appropriate so there's that one here's the other one and this one all of the covers have a different image from her papers and then i have like a little different coloring in the book plate of the title um there's that one and then this one has more of a little tillish color to it. They all have the bead, the um, butterfly boho bead, okay? I have the little eyelet closure here with the seam binding. I've got a little quote card here that I'm going to put in because I realized I didn't put it in after I'd already tied all these up. And I hated to untie them all again and everything like that. So this is a really neat quote, and I just knew I had to have it in this journal. But it says, no garden truly blooms until butterflies have danced upon it. And that's a quote by Carl Sagan. I did add a number of quotes in here. Um, so you will we'll see. And I'll read a few of them out to you. So let's get in. And so here is my first, um, the inside cover. I do have a little pocket here for you. I have my a uh, little signature flower that I like to put there. I like to really put it there to keep your hand from getting scratched on the eyelet, but it also is just pretty. So um, I'm gonna put that little quote right there. That's where it was intended. Um, so yeah, you have your little pocket in the front and her beautiful papers here. I started off with, and then this is one of her cards from the uh, other little kid I was telling you about. So I've backed all everything, all the, um, tags are backed with coffee dye paper because I like it to I like your cards to be sturdy 
and not thin so you don't have to worry about, you know, ripping them. This is a quote that I backed on some uh, pattern paper that I also included to go along with the kit. We delight in the beauty of the butterfly but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. And that's by Maya Angelou. I love that. But you can journal on the back of that. Here's, I took some of her papers since it is an, it's in a collage type papers. She's got, I think, about six pages in that kit, Garden Ephemera. And um, you could just cut them up all kinds of different ways. Um, and it's always going to be pretty because the whole sheet that she has is really pretty. It's a full size. Of course, I shrunk it down to fit my six by four and a half. I've got edge punching that I typically do on most of the pages. Here I have a spot for garden notes. I just stamped that out and then I printed a small one out here. So this would be like a, a full page you would get. And then I just I shrunk it down so that's a space that you can uh, journal in. I just lift that up. And I uh, decoupage this butterfly and I, he's really thick, so you can move him around if you want him to flutter around in your journal and put him in pockets or whatever you want to do because it's super, super thick. I backed him. I put my little antennas that I like to do. I have a video where I did some, I'll show you in here. It's a guest check, that I, and I showed you what I used to make the butterfly antennas, and I put stickles on them. But he's really, like I say, that's from a napkin, and he's really uh, sturdy. So I got him in there, and then I have a um, little tag here I just stamped and stenciled on that so you can journal all over that and then you've got your little ledger pocket here out of ledger paper and so you can journal all over that and look at that pretty image so pretty very vintage um, collage uh, ephemera papers and just beautiful with flowers and butterflies and fun elements like tickets um, I think there's like a little hot air balloon in it too. So I even stamped out a hot air balloon. You'll see that coming up. A uh, little pocket here with some fun little rosette trim. There's one of her pretty um, little cards that you can get. So I've got that in there. I took her paper and made a little fold over overlay. And so I just did that little image on that. That, there's that little um, hot air balloon and that little image there. So I thought that was real pretty. You can journal inside of that, but it hangs over your page, so it just decorates two sides of the page there. I've added some purple paper, or light, I should say, light lavender. It's real pretty, it works real well. In this little pocket, just some extra paper, scrap paper there that you can journal on. I did a little edge punching on that. And then here's another quote, give yourself time to grow your wings. I love that. And here I have a little coin envelope. I did a little flower piece there that you can tuck you know, up under the petals to close it. I didn't put anything in it. Sometimes I like to leave you some space, <laughs> some space to put some things. So here's your pocket. Um, and then that just tucks under the petals to close. But then it was really fun decoupaging this um, this little doily all over that. That was really fun. It went together real well and I enjoyed that. And I just kind of like leaving the envelope kind of its own color that it normally is. She's got a little envelope like this, a coin envelope, in some of her papers. So I just thought that was neat. So sometimes you need some, there's all that wonderful journal space. Okay. I've got my laces and trims and ribbons and bling and stuff that I've put. Here's a little flower that's going to hold this open. So I'm show you what's going on here. I made a little tag, decoupage that, so it's like a butterfly and a key. And then I made a little um, clock time. It, she's got that in, in there too. I picked out images that, you know, from her kit that I could just kind of bring out. But um, I just thought this was neat because time, timing is everything and it's, it's very elusive. It gets away from us, but as time passes, you know, we change and things, so I just kind of like that. And then this will open up and just like that, so you can do some journaling there. So I just fold that over and just tuck that under your little flower. And then it's got some bling there. And then it makes these little tucks on the side for your tags. 
and your little clock there. You can journal on the back of that if you want to, too. Journal on the back of both of them. Got some twine there. Here is some vintage uh, shorthand paper. I love that. I love shorthand when I was in school. And now I look at it and I can't, I really never wanted to forget it. But you know, if you don't use it, you don't remember it. But um, I always loved it. It was just so neat that, you, that it made sense. Um, here's a little um, flip out here that I decorated. I've got a little pocket here. I made a little tag with the papers in her kit, and that's the little uh, air hot air balloon I was telling you about, and I just stamped Dream on that. So that's a cute little pocket for those to sit in, and I've got Flyway there, and I ran a ribbon through, so you can journal all over this. Added some kind of cream um, lined paper, more journaling space. You can put a picture here. Here's the center of my signature. I put a little butterfly in there. I folded part of his wing and I had to put him kind of to, to the side on one page um, so that he wouldn't, you know, get folded in the middle of his body. So that I just kind of creased. And so when you flip, of course, you saw, you can just open him up and, and then you can enjoy your little butterfly. You could journal on the back of his wings if you want to. That one t tips over a little bit. I didn't, I tried not to over bend them, you know, so that whoever gets these will be able to enjoy, you know, enjoy them and not be worn out. And then from the uh, string, I just hung a little flower on the back of it. It says smile. I just thought it looked like he was flying among the flowers like that. Got a belly band that I made out of her pretty papers. And you know, I like to do that. I got that little fold over from Paula Lemon. And I just like to do that. It just adds extra space for journaling. And that gorgeous page. And that one, just butterflies everywhere. If you love butterflies, I'm telling you, you will love this kit. Um, here I made an overlay. I'm using it as an overlay. Let me put it that way. But basically what it is is um, one of her images that she has. And then I just did accordion, did an accordion strip there so you can journal all over that. And then when you fold it up, I put a little pocket back in the back. So the way I hung it, I put the pocket like that. Um, and then I put my little tickets in there. I stamped out it meant one and then colored that one up and stamped a butterfly. Just those are fun. You can journal on the back of those too. And paper clip that in there. And then on the back, as you can see, it gives that a lot of um, color on this page. Here, I actually did a little bit of research. Um, I just, because I just really, I do like to get into the whatever theme I'm working on. I like to learn a bit more about things. And I know we learned a lot of things in school and stuff, but um, I just kind of did a little write up about um, butterflies and how long they live and how they go about laying their eggs and, and then the stages that they go into. So it does talk about entering into the chrysalis stage, which is what I did for my bead. Um, that's a little chrysalis cocoon. That's what this boho butterfly bead is supposed to look like. And I just kind of talked about how that works. And then on the back, um, you know, what goes on. Um, just really interesting, amazing stuff. Um, how it how it all works you know so i just thought that was fun and interesting and then that opens up you can journal on the back of that as well and um that's some washi butterfly washi tape there that i used and more journaling journaling here's another little overlay i did i have a butterfly paper clip there and um it says, a season of loneliness and isolation is when the caterpillar gets its wings. So remember that the next time you feel alone. And that's by Mandy Hale. That's a quote from Mandy Hale. But that's a journal spot. You could open that up and journal on that. So if I can get that back. There we go. And in this pocket, I ran a ribbon. And here's another one of her pretty journal cards. That's in the, um, like I say, there's... Um, three little journal card 
kits I used, and then, of course, the Garden Ephemera is the, are the papers. I just cut these out right here and made a little booklet, did some stenciling, and added some scraps of paper. Added a little guest check in there. That worked perfectly. And there you go. And I've got some little, sewed it in like a signature, and I just let my little lavender string kind of hang down. I didn't know if somebody might want to add some beads or something like that. So that was a lot of fun. A pretty paper. I love the little purple flowers she included in this, you know, in her imagery. It's just so pretty. That says special handling. It's just like a little ledger papers. Just perfect. There's that little coin envelope in there, which made me think about using my other coin envelope, or my real coin envelope, I should say. Here's the other side of that ledger pocket page here. This was left over from her Nature's Music Kit, so I made a little journaling spot there, and here is one of the little journal cards there. I did sew around that one. This one is not sewn around. This was the um, guest check that I was talking about. I did a video on this showing you how I did it. Um, decoupage, decoupage, decoupage. Um, this one has little um, antennas with the stickles. This can serve as a pocket. So I tuck this in there. You can journal on the back of that. It says, just as we are changed by our experiences and the passage of time, so goes the butterfly. Um, and then you, that little butterfly holds on to that to keep it closed. But when you open this up, I made a little booklet. So you can journal all inside of here and through all of these pages. It's sewn in like a signature with some baker's twine. And then journal here. And then, of course, journal all on the back. So those are and were a lot of fun to make. Um, so like I said, it can serve as a pocket too. You can tuck some little goodies down in there. This is um, a flip up here, pocket, flip up pocket. It says, I'm still becoming. And I did a little book page butterfly with some bling. You can lift that up. And then I have another little piece of scrap paper in here you can journal on. And then this little page um, I, I made it open up. You can journal on that as well on the back and then put a little lace there. Just did a little fancy punching on the edges as well too on some of those. There's another pretty, I love this kit. I love it. It's just, if you, if you love butterflies, nature, flowers, you, you will love this kit. And I'm going to sign this back here, probably right along here with uh, to whomever you know decides to get this journal these will be for sale um in my etsy shop and um so i'll have those listed for you and let me just get that and let's i will breeze through these other ones since you've been the premise is basically the same obviously because they're like a little set but they they are different like i say the cover on each one is different some of the papers might vary um, that kind of thing um, again all my little uh, journals have my little chrysalis cocoon butterfly cocoon bead there um, I used a clasp envelope and treated it to give it that leather look so, so let me just flip through this one and I won't while I'm you know there's my little um, wonderful quote there, so I'm going to tuck that in my pocket, and I'll just kind of flip through these pages. We'll try to, there's one that I made, I made that out of her paper, that same quote. See, it's on a different, little bit of a different colorway. There's a little journal card here. Did some stenciling on the inside, but you can still journal. My butterfly, my tag. Beautiful papers. So these rosette trims are a little bit different color because I wanted to pick up on that butterfly color. So they're all, you know, the little cards are a little different, you know, that type of thing. That's the overlay. You can journal inside that. Here's the quote about give yourself time to grow your wings and some extra paper. My little doily coin envelope in my pocket. My little clock. This opens the same way where you can journal on it. Vintage shorthand paper, book page. A little tag in my balloon that says dream. I love these little tags. I was like the cutest size. 
absolutely the cutest size. And here's the middle. So you see how my butterfly kind of gets folded over, but when you open them up, then you just pull that little wing over and and then you can look at him. I put stickles on his antennas too. I got stickles on my in the middle of my flower. That little belly band out of her paper. Pretty paper. This is a kit that you can just like it's I think this kit is timeless. <laughs> You can just work with this kit over and over again and never get tired. It's just beautiful colors, everything. That's the one that flips out under there. After, after my little research paper journal card, that's what we'll call it. Overlay there. Here's this booklet and that little pretty journal card. This little booklet. See, they all kind of have different images on them, so but they're all pretty. Just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And there's those. Here's this little butterfly. And that little guest check I did. Same little quote in there. Like I use like a pocket and it's a booklet and all that space to journal. Same thing here. I'm still becoming. I just like that saying, I'm still becoming. All right, and let's, you got this one. This one has a little bit of a pinkish there inside, rosy pink to match this cover. And you've got the boho bead. The boho bead does have like little um, small seed beads, iridescent small seed beads wrapped around it. And it, I just thought that might make it kind of look like dew or whatever. I use some just real pretty. If you watch my video, you'll see how I made it and you can see what's what all's in that. But I hung it from this seam binding and just tied a little bow and I just thought that worked perfectly. So I'll get this little quote in its little pocket. Let's see what might be different on this. That's a little card there. I just really enjoyed making these, and I just love butterflies. I think most of us do. I liked that blue on that butterfly wing, and so that's why I switched the trims up when I needed to. That image is just gorgeous. Fun little doily coin envelope. My little goodies in there. Again, that just lifts up, and you can journal on it. Put a picture here, a little tag I made in my balloon. Journaling space, there's my butterfly. Little flower on a string, he's flying amongst the flowers. My belly band I made. I back these things with some craft card stock so it's, you know, they're sturdy. I, I spend a lot of time backing things because I want whoever gets these to be able to use them and, um, you know, not feel like everything's so fragile. You do need to be careful with it because it's paper, but you don't want to feel like everything's so fragile that you can't handle it. I love that. And this one, in this pocket, there's the butterfly card. Journal on that. I did think I put a doily on that, and you got a little bit of doily on that with the coffee staining. That beautiful image. Yeah, that's my booklet. So you can see that one, and that's left over from Nature's Music, and that. On this one I did a little differently, so I have my little pocket uh, flip up there and then I put the I'm Still Becoming and the butterfly image on that little piece. And then I just kind of stick it in the pocket and let it hang over. And then you have that little extra journaling spot there. Butterflies all over it. And there you have it. So this has got a little bling in these flowers there. 
Also, a little, just a touch of the lavender. I love a, the touch of the lavender with all these other beautiful colors. Um, so anyway, I appreciate you spending the time to watch this. Um, I hope that you like these. I was really, really excited about them. I did pour a lot of work and time and materials into them, and I just, I was so thrilled with that, with how they turned out. So I will have them listed in my Etsy shop. Check out um, Elsie Bell's bookshelf if you love this kit. Um, thanks, everyone. Take care and have a great day. Bye.